A kidney stone is a terrible thing which affects more than a million Americans every year. My husband recently had a bout with it, and over the weekend, so did our Dr. Jennifer Ashton, who is here right now feeling better, thank goodness, and with some important information to help all of us. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So you are you recovered? I am almost back to normal, yes. First of all, for people who don't know, what is a kidney stone? So a kidney stone is a solid deposit that comes from the minerals that are, are in our blood and get filtered into our urine, and they usually wind up in the kidney, and they can sit there without giving you any symptoms at all until they get dislodged and start to move down the very tiny tube called the ureter that connects the kidney to the bladder and that's when the pain starts. Because it has to, this potentially big stone, mm -hmm. though they vary in size, has to go through this tiny little space. Right. And when my husband had it, you were one of the people who told me it's worse than childbirth. Is that it really is that correct. bad? I've had two children and three kidney stones and the kidney stones dwarfed the pain of labor and delivery. This is excruciatingly painful. You feel like the pain is gonna kill you or you wanna die from the pain. It's wow. horrible. So you've had it three times. So you probably recognize the pain as soon as it starts. Yep. But what if somebody has never had it? How do they know they have a kidney stone? Well, it's really classic pain, uh, Maggie, and it typically starts in the side or the flank, one side or the other, because this is where the kidneys are high up. And typically the pain can then radiate or even travel or refer down to the lower abdomen into the groin. And it can be constant it's very sharp very severe and then it can come and go so it's actually called renal colic because it can kind of come in waves it's horrible and then you either pass it or you don't what are the forms of treatment that's right for this? so there are basic ways that you treat this the the standby is IV hydration so you need a lot of intravenous fluid and pain medication I was given a lot of morphine intravenous morphine in the emergency room over the weekend then there's something called a stent which is very similar to the stents that we can put in the heart arteries it's an umbrella that opens up that tube lets the stone pass through shockwave lithotripsy where the stone is busted up into little pieces or in severe cases laser or surgery but luckily I passed mine on its own oh thank goodness and the lesson what my husband was told over and over is I drink know. a lot of water you so know, this doesn't happen are the to you worst again patients, <laughs> yes hydration is the key drink a lot of water could it really prevent it uh, sometimes medications needed but hydration is the most important all right Jen thank you glad you're <laughs> you okay bet, let's not go for number four no. <laughs> A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.